welcome to PA's Nightmare Wednesdays. As always, welcome traveler to my realm of nightmares. Allow me to be your personal assistant into my realm. Come in, take a seat, get comfortable for when you step into my realm. There is no stepping out. They say everyone who looks into the past of their family will inevitably find a secret sooner or later. However, I have such a boring family, and we live in an even less interesting small town residing in Ohio. So, around the age of 30, I started to wonder more about my family, the history there, and where we originated from. I was not expecting what I found out. However, what I found out has caused me to never be able to feel safe around my family ever again. That is if they can find me and bring me back, of course. Naturally, I started where anyone would go, to my grandparents and my parents. But I learned nothing that I had not already known. So I did one of the ancestry tests to show where my family came from. Nothing shocking, mostly Irish and Scottish descent. Well, this showed me something, it did not tell me much. So I did research on the culture religious beliefs of the area, and what I learned was very interesting. Where, in Ireland and Scotland, the primary religions are the Judaic ones like Christianity and Catholicism, before they worshipped a whole different version of gods, and I loved learning more and more about them. The information I learned was so interesting, I once again went to my parents. Mom! Dad! I have to talk to you! I have been doing endless amounts of research on our family, and I learned that even though currently Christianity is the dominant religion in the region of our ancestors, before the introduction of the Judaic religions, we worshipped the pagan gods. I went to continue, but before I could, my father cut me off harshly. Old gods, he stated coldly, and I assume your next question is, do any of our family members still worship the old gods? The answer is yes, we do, and would appreciate you not insulting them in our presence. My father has always been short-tempered when it comes to religion, and I never understood his dislike or anger when he found out I had been baptized and became a Christian, but now I had an idea. So. I looked him in the eyes and stated, Dad, I'm sorry. I had no idea and I never meant any disrespect to your beliefs. I just want to know more about the beliefs and practices you still carry out. My dad waves a dismissive hand at me and calmly starts to talk more about the specific deity him and my mother worship. Fiona, look, first, I am sorry for my outburst. You gotta understand that our religious beliefs are considered cruel and most don't take kindly to them. Second, your mother and I worship the Celtic god Suicellus. He is the god of protection and provision. He is a god of agriculture and every year we sacrifice a pig to him as well as leaving an offering of lamb's blood, the finest liqueurs we can afford and the meat of the pig and with that, he yields us a bountiful harvest, more than enough to feed us and the excess to be sold at the market to pay whatever bills we may have for the whole year. Animal sacrifice has become a bit of a taboo subject, but it is still practiced in many cultures to this day. That's so cool. Why did you guys not tell me about this sooner? I inquired to my father, kind of upset, he had hid this part of my family from me. We do not tell you, because by the time you are at an age to understand that this is not the kind of thing you advertise to the public, you had already gone and got baptized and chose your religious belief. We were not about to take the risk in you choosing your faith over us. Gods forbid. 
we would have to suffer another tragedy in this family. Another tragedy? What do you mean, another one? I practically shouted this out in shock that they had hit yet another major family event from me that I was not privy to. It happened well before you were born, and it's nothing you need concern yourself with, girl. However, I would ask that you do not share any of this with an outsider, because they will not understand. We have lived here all of our lives and are comfortable here, my dear. The way he said this to me, I don't know how to explain it. I felt fear and chills run down my spine. I excused myself, telling them that I was tired and just wanted to rest. Once I got up the stairs and to my room, I could still hear my mother and father arguing. I could not hear what they were saying at first, but once I cracked open the door and could hear my mother crying, she was saying, She doesn't know anything. Just let her go. She will lose interest in learning more shortly. Everything she could find has been long wiped, and anyone other than us who knows what happened is long dead. The only remaining proof is in your safe in the bedroom, so just don't worry, alright, honey? Fine. If she stops asking questions, I'll forget about this all. I heard my father angrily state, but he did love me, and my safety has always been most important to him. I waited for my father and mother to go to bed. After hours, I finally heard my parents walk up the stairs, along with the footsteps walking towards my door, lying in bed with the lights off and my back to the door. The door cracks open, hearing my father whisper my name, Fiona, are you awake? Not stirring, my father assumes I am asleep and shuts the door. I waited for my parents' door to shut. Getting out of bed, I packed my bags. I was planning on getting into my parents' room and getting into the safe. After I achieved this, I would get out of this house. I could not stay in this house a moment longer than I had to with the people I could no longer trust. The next morning, I got up and went downstairs. My mother and father were sitting at the breakfast table. Hey, Mom. Dad. Sorry for yesterday. I did not mean to pry or upset you. I am not going to dig anymore. I love you both, and I don't want to do anything to upset or bring up hurtful memories. I said, in hopes of placating the suspicion of my father, making it easier for me to get into the room and access the safe. After weeks of waiting for an opportunity to get into my parents' room, they finally told me they needed to make a trip to the market. After asking me if I wanted to accompany them, I declined, saying I was not feeling well and I just wanted to rest. Before my parents left the house, they told me once they got back, they would make me some chicken noodle soup. I told my mother and father thank you and that I loved them as they walked out the door. After I heard them pull out of the driveway, I made my way up to my parents' room. I had no idea where the safe was, but being that my father was predictable, I found the safe behind the family portrait, and guessing the code as my birthday allowed me entry into the safe. I quickly gathered the materials and left the house in my car. I drove for hours and had to fill up multiple times using cash, of course. I did not want my father or mother to be able to track my card. Getting into the hotel, I chose a room that had a view of the parking lot. Just in case my mother and father found me, I opened the files. Most of it was the normal stuff you would expect to find. Passports, birth certificates, social security card, you know, normal documents you keep safe. However, one of the documents was different from the others. It was a missing persons report for James O'Brien. Wait, that is my last name. I say out loud in confusion. Reading further into the papers, I found out that I had a brother that went missing at the age of eight. My parents reported him missing and he was never found. But given the fact that my parents went to all this effort to hide this from me, I have to assume that they played a part in this disappearance. I could not keep my eyes open much longer, but before I succumbed to exhaustion, I rigged my laptop to upload my findings to the cop if I didn't put a password into the program every four hours, just to keep myself safe. 
Falling asleep, I set my alarm so I could put the code into the computer. Lying down, I turned off the lights and quickly fell asleep. My alarm goes off and I turn on my light, but before I could put the code into my laptop, I looked outside and my blood ran cold. I noticed my parents' car next to mine. The clerk of the hotel must have ran my card instead of just holding it as collateral and they tracked me here. I packed my bags and threw the code into my computer. Rushing to the door, I flung it open and my parents were standing on the other side. They forced their way into my room and my father spoke to me in a warm and authoritative tone. Look, let us explain. I know what you found and it looks bad, I'll admit. Hear me out. We had a particular harsh winter and we lost all of our livestock. We did not have a sacrifice for Suicellus, and if we didn't do something, we all would have died. So, I did the hardest thing I ever had to do, and used your brother as the sacrifice that year. I have never forgiven myself, but if you try to turn us in, I'll use you as the next one. My father ended it with so much venom, I jumped back in shock. Dad, how could you? I cried out, if you harm me, I have my laptop set to upload all this information to the cops. If you leave me alone, I'll not turn you in. I don't want to die. All I want is for you to leave me alone and never contact me again. After this, my father took the information and left me alone. It's been years since I spoke to them. I am typing this because I noticed a strange vehicle parked outside my house. So if you read this, I am probably dead. So my warning to you is stay out of Ohio. Unless you want to be the next one sacrificed to this pagan god. Today's story is The Family Secret. Written by PA Nightmares and co-written by 242 Reads. She is an amazing author and a very talented narrator. You should definitely check her out. If you liked what you heard today, chances are you'll love what you hear on her channel. Her links will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for all future content. And remember, travelers, once you step into my realm, there's no stepping out.